Hey there, pirates. Welcome aboard the Anime No Me channel. The Nika fruit is considered one of the most powerful fruits in the entire One Piece series, even being capable of making the Gorosei worry about the current bearer of this fruit. We recently saw the awakening of this fruit, a very powerful awakening that was even able to defeat a Yonko and the most powerful agent of CP0. But this transformation may still be incomplete. In today's video, we will talk about the awakening of the Nika fruit, how powerful this fruit has shown itself to be so far, and the possibility that it may not be fully complete complete yet. I hope for your support to help our crew win, and to do so, you just need to click the thumbs up button, leave a like, and subscribe to the channel. By doing this, you will win an incredible devil fruit, so just comment which fruit you want. Folks, mythical zone fruits are extremely powerful and unique, possessing an incredible diversity compared to other devil fruits. However, among these fruits, there is one that has the highest variation of form, which is the fruit of the sun god Nika, known as the liberating fruit. Recently, we saw that Luffy was able to awaken a new transformation called Gear 5, a transformation of his awakened fruit, Luffy does not yet know how to use this new power. We saw that he constantly becomes exhausted when using this technique, in addition to using it in a reckless manner. Since he recently awakened this power, Luffy does not know how to use all of its potential, and there is even a possibility that his transformation is not yet complete. However, as Luffy himself said, he will not have a Gear 6. After all, he has reached his peak in transformation, but he still has not completely mastered this power. In fact, all zones have more than one transformation and Luffy's is no different. So, we can imagine that he has not yet reached the complete form of the Sun God Zone. The revelation of the complete form of the Hito Hito no Mi model Nika, the form of the Sun God, could occur progressively, marked by signs indicating the maximum activation of the fruit's power. In the context of the One Piece universe, the complete awakening of a mythical zone like this may involve both internal development and extreme conditions. This transformation could be triggered by a combination of physical mastery and un wavering willpower, especially at a moment when Luffy faces an overwhelming threat or the need to protect his friends and ideals. For the form of Nika, the sun god, to fully manifest, Luffy would need to access the spirit of the fruit, allowing his body and consciousness to align with the essence of Nika. This could mean a state in which his youthful and joyful personality, his freedom, and his desire to fight for good are in full synergy. One hypothesis is that the form of the sun god transcends elastic traits, allowing Luffy to manipulate the environment around him even more intensely, such as extending the elastic effect to the air or objects and even altering opponents' perception of reality. Visually, this complete form may involve changes in Luffy's appearance that directly reference the sun god, such as an intense aura or a presence that emits heat and light, symbolizing the radiant energy of a solar deity. In battle, he could combine strength and speed with total unpredictability, moving and attacking with the lightness and freedom that reflect his true essence. The revelation of Luffy's sun god form would thus be a milestone in his evolution, reaching the peak of his potential as a user of mythical zone. As we no, this fruit is known as the fruit of freedom, allowing its user to have no restrictions on their physical and bodily abilities. However, that is not what we are currently seeing. Luffy is still very limited. Many of his abilities don't appear to be very effective against his opponents, even though he possesses great creativity, which theoretically could contribute to making this fruit more powerful. This could mean that Luffy's awakening can still expand further, leading him to achieve the true transformation of the sun, God Nika, a transformation that could truly remove all of Luffy's limitations allowing him to fight in the freest way possible, awakening the gear god, the true form of the sun god Nika. This is the possible transformation that the Gorosei fear Luffy will achieve because of the significant problems that the former bearer of this fruit caused them in the past. The Nika fruit, with just this simple awakening, has already proven to be extremely powerful and possibly the fruit with great potential for both offense and defense, depending only on Luffy's creativity. Due to its unique nature, this mythical Zoan fruit of the sun, God Nika grants Luffy a basic body with rubber properties. However, because the true power of the fruit is dormant, Luffy's human body is limited by restrictions and transformations that make him appear to possess a Paramecia fruit. After achieving an awakening, the true power of the fruit as a mythical zone is released, giving Luffy a new transformation with a unique appearance as well as completely changing his personality. It grants him the appearance of the mythical sun god, Nika, giving his already rubberized body more strength and freedom, transforming the user into a warrior of liberation, as described in the Legends of Nika. The awakening of the Gomu Gomu no Mi, previously known as Hito Hito no Mi, model Nika, grants Luffy's rubber body even greater strength and freedom.
up, allowing him to fight however he wants. It is possible that the complete awakening of this fruit could further enhance these characteristics, allowing Luffy to truly gain great freedom during a fight. Luffy has become the warrior of liberation, bringing joy and freedom to those around him. With the power of this fruit described as the most ridiculous power in the world by the Gorosei themselves, who have complete knowledge of this powerful fruit. In this transformation, Luffy's heartbeat takes on a musical rhythm that was described by Zunisha as the drums of liberation. His hair and clothes, except for his straw hat, belt, and sandals, turn white. His eyes shine with red pupils resembling rings, and white clouds float around his neck, similar to the steam clouds that accompany him in the Gear 4. His eyebrows also become swirling and wavy. As an awakened Zoan, Luffy gains much greater strength, speed, and durability than those with non-awakened Zoan powers, even managing to match a Yonko. Notably, he gains enough strength and speed to match and eventually dominate the awakened Zoan form of Rob Lucci without taking him seriously, easily defeating the CP0 agent. In terms of durability, he could also withstand a direct blow from Kaido's Bolo breath attack without anything significant happening to his body, which would become charred and then return to its normal state as if nothing had happened at all. This also includes a faster recovery rate, which works involuntarily even when he is unconscious. In fact, the physical feats Luffy can perform in Gear 5 border on the absurd. With the enhancement of this transformation, Luffy will become even more powerful, potentially becoming the strongest pirate in the world. Through his Gear 5, Luffy is able to spin his legs fast enough to run in the air as if he were in a cartoon, leaving a trail of flames in the air wherever he goes, and also spinning like a top with such force that he turns into a drilling machine. Aligning with the mythical nature of this Zoan, Luffy's already rubberized body gains freedom and flexibility that surpass what he received from his previous forms, to the point of now being malleable like a cartoon, with Kaido comparing him to something out of a picture book. An example of this is when he took a hit to the head from Kaido's Hasakai only for his head to deform and envelop the weapon and its tips, or when Kaido tried to crush him into the ground, his body was simply smashed and then returned to its original shape. Luffy is able to use both the inflation of his limbs from Gear 3 and the muscle inflation from Gear 4 without needing to pump air into his body first, allowing him to greatly increase his own strength. This allows him to enlarge his arm to such a size that he can grab Kaido's transformed body and pull it out of the Onigashima skull. With his enlarged limbs and muscles, Luffy could easily manipulate Kaido despite his enormous size, swinging him back and forth. Luffy can also perform inflation throughout his entire body at once, transforming into a gigantic size resembling that of a real giant, thereby increasing his strength and consequently his weight. Luffy's rubbery nature can extend to the environment around him, as seen when Luffy changed the ground's characteristics, turning it into rubber and stretching it in order to return Kaido's bolo breath attack to him. Interestingly, the altered terrain Rain, although elastic, was neither burned nor melted by the Bolo Breath, even though the attack proved to be scalding and had enough explosive power to destroy an entire castle and the top of the mountain on which it was resting, demonstrating that the resistance of Luffy's rubbery body is also attributed to objects. Luffy can affect his surroundings to the extent that he can make surfaces like the ground beneath him, rubberized to cushion powerful blows and even ricochet and launch himself off any surface affected by his power. This ability also seems capable of affecting organic material, as shown when Kaido literally swallowed Luffy whole and then began to expand and inflate his body along with Luffy's. Even Kaido acknowledged that this new power of Luffy was something unusual, as he has the ability to utilize elements of both a Paramecia and a Zoan fruit simultaneously. Luffy has even demonstrated that he can apply this effect to intangible matter, such as lightning. In addition to his rubber-related abilities, Gear 5 also grants Luffy the curious ability to materialize objects from his flaming hair, such as protective goggles. Despite the strength of this form, due to inexperience, it consumes a lot of energy to maintain and use, to the point where Luffy can visibly age when he is transformed back. In addition to suffering extensive exhaustion and fatigue, Luffy can seemingly transform back by forcing his heart to beat in rhythm with the drums of liberation. Furthermore, unlike Paramecia Awakenings, Awakenings of Zoans like Gear 5 carry the risk of Nika's innate nature consuming Luffy's mind. And thus, it may be that Luffy is able to awaken his son God Gear, causing Nika to completely control Luffy, forcing him to awaken this transformation and consequently learn how to use the full power of his Nika fruit. That was today's content. We hope you liked it and want to share your opinion on the subject. Don't forget to share the video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and stay amazing.